Hey guys, this is Jim, and this is the Work in Progress Part 3 video. Uh, I'm just going to be showing off what I've done so far. Uh, you've already saw the red turn into, or the green turn into a, a, a satin red, as one guy mentioned on the Mac forums, or cammecca.com. And I thought I'd show off how the orange came out. It's been flat coated, so and dulled, so we're pretty good with that. Let's try getting it off the plate here. As you can see, here's. Sorry, give me one moment. So I get that off. There we go. I'll give you an example. This is what it looked like before, and here it is now. It's a nice, vibrant orange, just the way I wanted it to come out. And yes, I know there's still yellow showing, but I wasn't inclined to show that yellow. Anyway, you're only going to see it like this. So I'm just going to be going over just the colors. That's how the orange was. Here's how the French blue came out. And it was a lighter blue than my concept, but I'm digging it, actually. Because that nice little vibrant blue uh, looks really good. Sorry. little trick of the camera here. And we just pull the putty away, get the little pieces off. There you go. This has also been flat coated, so it came out really good. And here's the regular blue. darker than I was imagining, but I actually like how it came out. Looks really good, actually, and yeah. Now it got stuck in there, come on. As you can see, there's the red originally. Of course, when this is plugged in, you're not going to see it, so. Maybe a tiny bit from the back, but it's going to be covered up so well, you're not probably not going to see it anyway. So yeah, that's... Pretty much what I, that's the blues that I got off. Um, I'm not going to bore you with taking all these off the trees, or the uh, sticks here, sorry. But uh, yeah, how about we get up to the next part. Hopefully it should be a lot easier than this. So the next part will be... We're going to be going over the blue parts. Um, as you can see, they're still on the tree here. And I actually wanted to backtrack and talk about how the black I went for, for the uh, opaque black that you saw before, I wasn't really happy of how that came out. So I went to the store the other day and I picked up this. This is the Tamiya Tem color. TS6 matte black. It's a nice flat color black, which is what I was going to go for. Uh, they did not have the Vallejo that I was very accustomed to, so this should be an yeah, interesting color. But, uh, yeah. I thought I'd just go over that really quick. Um, yeah, 
So far I've also been looking at some stuff online and I've been thinking the next project I'm going to be doing to say a complete re recolor or just the same color uh, painting. I've been looking at the H3, just the high grade. That has piqued my interest a little bit. And excuse me while I'm cutting these out while we talk, but I just thought I'd just get my next thoughts. Uh, I gotta say though, I've been watching a few other people's videos, like the Gunpla Meister, I believe. His uh, Strike Freedom's come out pretty well. Uh, I wish him luck with that. And to be honest, uh, I do want to say one thing. I, if I don't, or I really don't care if I win the contest or any contest, to be honest. This is the first time I've ever really gotten into a painting something. Because I've, this is the second time I'm really airbrushing stuff or spray painting and whatnot. And as you see, I'm just taking all these blue parts off to get them ready. They're going to be sand down, trimmed, uh, all that fun stuff. So, yeah, that's about almost it. And these are pretty much what they look like before being primed. There you go. Like I said, here they are before being cut and everything. And here they are primed. Uh, I had to go back over some parts, um, as you can see here. You can see there's a little bit of blue showing. I had to go back and sand and get rid of the uh, pulling that some of these parts had. Uh, some others did better than others. Like this guy, there wasn't much of a pulling. But this just came out really nice. For the A part, of course. Uh, this one's going to be a bit tricky. Um, it pulled up like right around here pretty badly. So I had to go back and just like sand in there, get rid of it. And I might have to go back and just sand it again just to get rid of it. But of course, this is not the final product. Uh, I also put these two together on here. And they're, they came out really nice. And what else? A nice backpack piece had to get sanded as well. Uh, some parts here and there. I have to go back and do this one again. But just thought I'd show you. Uh, this is how they look before being painted. And here they are painted. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff here. Uh, this is still drawing right here because it, I had to go back a few times, sand it because there was a lot of like puddling going on. I had to go back, fix it. Still puddling, I had to go back, fix it. And it Hopefully it'll come out better this time. Uh, black's come out really nice the way I like it. Here's the chest parts there. Back and shield. The shield came out really nice actually. So this is how they look before being uh, black coated. And here they are now uh, top coated and out. I had to go back on this part a few times. It came out a lot better. Uh, here's how the black looks. That nice dull look and yes I have it on an alligator clip but just to show you that's where it will be but when let's see right here Uh, 
Okay, that's a minute. Okay. As you can see here, it slides into that little slot there, so... I'm only doing this once because I'm not taking this pack apart. Here we go. And there you have it. I'm not taking it out again, so this is how it's going to be. And I got other parts done, all nice top coated done. So that concludes the black parts. Uh, the next part will be, we're now going to be doing the plates of white. Uh, as you can see, I haven't taken them off yet. But it'll be that light gray I was pointing out before. Uh, and I can actually show you something really quick. My camera doesn't fall on me. A little teaser for you guys. I'll need this plate for now. But. Here we come. It'd be good to turn some light on. There we go. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little teaser for you right there. The light's not going well, but you kind of got just what's missing, what's showing there. Once it's all together, you'll understand. Alright, here they are before being cut off, sanded, and primed. 